pipe is certainly rusted. I think that they would try to patch it up, given how rare water is out here in the Mojave, but I guess not. Wait, what's that going on? I'm trying to think of it. Yeah. Well, anyway, um... I guess I'm just gonna go over the mountains here. I think that there's a, a little parting in the, uh, the hills that I can go through. The question is whether or not I can find it right. I think it's over that way. Anyhow. I didn't know- I completely forgot. Forgot? Maybe I didn't even know that there was so much to, uh, take- or, uh, collect up here. I'm looking around. Where's- Oh, uh, that's right. Veronica's probably, uh, off, uh, doing a little bit of a jig trying to get around that wall of sandbags. Oh, I didn't kill them. Hey! Ooh, well, Veronica's here now. And I... You know, now that I think about it, I probably shouldn't have killed all of these coy uh, coyotes with, um... The grenade rifle. Because they're just coyotes. Um... Coyote, or however you want to say it. Someone, someone got really bent out of shape with my pronunci pronunciation of coyote, so... Whatever. Anyways, um... I really shouldn't have killed them with grenades because they're not all that threatening. I should, I should save the grenades for, uh, more troubling enemies. Jeez, what is up with this game? Um, I, I just recently upgraded my, um, hardware for my PC. Uh, so, uh... Uh, I did a, I did a hardware upgrade for my PC, and because I did, uh, whenever I launched New Vegas, it said, oh, you did an upgrade. I guess this means that we should totally, um, redetect, you know, your video settings, which is a real, you know, crap thing. So, if the game looks a little bit different now, it's because, jeez. <laughs> These, uh, these improved cactuses from a mod. Whoa. Cannibal Johnson's cave. Completely forgot about this place. Um, let's head inside. Talk to Johnson. Ah! <gasps> yep. Yeah, oh my god. Jeez. Hurt me. Let's take a drink. Oh, it's not human flesh. Surprise. You hear there was some kind of shootout at one of them casinos on the strip? Well, it's about damn time. What took you? Oh. Um, you were expecting someone else? I've been in the Reaper's shadow for a long time now, and I thought he'd finally showed up to collect. He's just mocking me now. Call me crazy, but it sounds like you're eager to die. There's a twitch in my trigger finger, I've lost my eagle eyes, and the other day I could have sworn I heard Sergeant Dornan chewing me out. I'm old and I'm starting to feel it. It's not pleasant, especially when you know your mind's slipping away. And we all gotta go sometime. But I was hoping for something a little more heroic. Heroic? Sounds like you served in the military. Uh, yeah. It was a long time ago. Things were better back then. Well, who is, or was, Sergeant Dornan? He was a drill instructor I knew. He was also the meanest bastard I've ever known. Once he caught this private out of uniform, and old Dornan went off on the most ear-blistering rant known to man. It was inspiring. You definitely have some stories to tell. Mind if I ask? What do you want to know? Well, you live out here, in a cave, all on your own? Sure do. Had a wife for a while. Tribal girl, really pretty eyes. But she's been gone a long time now. And... You're a cannibal. Ha! <laughs> I'm not saying. It's part of my mystique, after all. Oh, come on. There has to be at least some interesting story behind your name. The truth of it is that I did cut out a raider's heart. But only took a bite to mess with his buddies. They had me surrounded, and I went with the first thing that came to mind. Some ran, and the rest were startled just long enough. <laughs> well, I suppose if it works. It's been nice chatting with you, Johnson. I just stumbled in here on accident, though. I'm a little bit busy. So, I'll be on my way. Be seeing you. Maybe. All right, let's talk to him. Hey there. Need anything? Uh, yeah, let me check out what you got for sale. Sure. Here's what I got. 
damn. Not a whole lot to get rid of. Oh, it's a second merchant. Holy crap. I'll have to keep that in mind. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and, uh, head north now. Um... Uh, but, but, yeah, as I was saying earlier, I upgraded my, uh, my system hardware, and New Vegas saw that, and it was like, Hey, we need to reset, redetect your system settings. And... You can't cancel that out once it decides to do it, there's no cancel button, or, you know... Terminate action, or whatever you will. So, um, if the game looks different as a result, that's why. I have no clue what my settings were before this. I don't think there's anything down there for me to grab. Uh, despite the fact that I've been I've been crisscrossing the wasteland so many times, this is one of the small little pocket areas where I haven't visited. So I'm I'm being very very uh, careful to look for things that I can uh, pick up or uh, search. Durable Dunsack Caravan. I remember what this was for. Something involving uh, a quest with Cass. I don't have a problem talking about that either because. Um, Cass is a companion that I'm not going to recruit, simply because I don't think that I'm ever going to balance my karma out enough to work with her. Um, that and the fact that I don't think that I have enough time to cover her, uh, story. Anyhow, let's go ahead and loot the rest of these guys. Clearly the Van Graffs took this, uh, caravan out. Nothing else over there. Let's go ahead and pick everything up off this guy, and this guy. Now I'm over-encumbered. Pot. Well, let's loot the last of the uh, ash piles over here. Just take everything. Energy cells, laser rifle, etc. I don't think that there's anything else for me to uh, pick up around here. That should be everything. Veronica! Okay, there we go. Now I can walk again. Um, I saw some golden geckos right over this little uh, barrier right here. So, before I use that... Um, Camping fire. I'm gonna go ahead and kill these things. Uh -oh. See if we can get a shot off just right. <sighs> Bingo! I'm getting good at the arcs with this thing. Right, let's just take everything off of these golden geckos, and then we'll uh, we'll go right back to the fire at uh, the sack caravan site. And uh, I'm gonna craft a cup, craft, craft a couple of things um, because I stole a bunch of Nuka Colas. Um, I think they were, uh, Quartz? Or were they Victories? Uh, from Camp Gulf. I think I can craft some more Nuka Grenades. Um, okay, so let's make some Coyote Steak first. All of them. And we'll make a Desert Salad, because I can. Holy crap, that's a lot of Gecko meat. <laughs> let's make a bunch of Gecko Steak, 50 of them. And some tan Gecko Hides. I completely forgot. I can't craft, um, the, uh, the Nuka Grenades at a campfire. Completely slipped my mind. Um, I could just craft them with um, Veronica, but I don't want to go through her speech options unnecessarily. Uh, speech options in general. Uh, if a lot of you guys have been wondering, like, why isn't he using Veronica's, you know, like portable tool, tool bench ability, which is something that Veronica has? You can. Uh, she basically functions as a portable workbench, um, as one of her special skills. Uh, she, you know, she can help you craft anything because she doesn't need a workbench bench due to how experienced she is. Um, and a lot of you have been asking, why why aren't you using that? I mean, does he even know that that's available? And yes, I am fully aware that that's available. But if I'm never, if the reason why I'm not using it is because um, there's a lot of uh, intense editing, basically, that's involved with uh, communicating with any NPC. And I want to avoid that if I don't have to get into it. So that's why I'm not talking to Veronica for that reason. Jesus, the game is stuttering enough right now. Gonna have to go back and re-optimize the game, I think. Anyways, um, I'm gonna sell some stuff off to Blake uh, once I'm done here. But first, I'm going to hop inside and talk to uh, McLafferty about uh, buying out Cassidy Caravans. Welcome back. Alice, got some good news about that job you sent me out on. Cassidy Caravans has been bought out, and it's now part of the Crimson Caravan Company. Here's the paperwork, right down to the blood signature. Very good. On occasion, it's proven to be more profitable in the long run to simply buy out the competition. And this is one of those occasions. All right, then. That's about all of the jobs that you had on the table. Is there anything else that you need done? I'm still for hire. Something has actually come up. 
A prospector recently came through here and spent a lot of caps on supplies. Closer inspection of these caps has revealed them to be brand new. This is a problem. The most likely source of these new caps is the old Sarsaparilla bottling Trouble. plant. Go there, locate the bottle cap press, and disable it. Really? Disable a bottle cap press? I've got some questions about the currency itself. Bottle caps. What would you like to know? Well, to start off with, what makes a bottle cap genuine? How can you confirm authenticity? Lots of little things. The paint on the label, the machining, the type of metal it's made from. I know there's counterfeit caps floating around, of course. Fortunately, they're very time-consuming to make, so the numbers are small. Well, what about replacing caps? They wear out eventually, right? Certainly. Bottle caps do wear out or get damaged. Some people even insist on using bottle caps and explosive devices for some reason. We may get a point to scour pre-war bottling plants and recover or disable the bottle cap presses. Seems we missed one. Well, if you recover or salvage parts from these presses, why is this one a problem for you? Why do you want me to disable it? People have been counterfeiting bottle caps forever, but it's always been small scale. A bottle cap press is a whole other threat. We can't have anyone devaluing our currency by mass producing new bottle caps. Ah, so it's of a genuine economic concern. All right then, Alice. I'll head out to the Sunset Sarsaparilla HQ and strip all the parts out, assuming the press is there. All right. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, that's everything, Alice. I'll be on my way. It's been a pleasure. Just careful. Careful. All right, got it. Why the heck is this place trapped? Uh, large burn book. I, is there anything upstairs here? Doesn't look like there are any other traps around. Pretty well empty. Nothing going on here. Ooh, locksmith reader. How did I miss that? All right, let's see if we can get into this. Oh, come on. I don't think that I have what I need to... Nope. Nope, I don't have anything. I can't open it. There's nothing that I can do to boost my skill up high enough. Well, that comes back to bite me, the fact that I'm not a really big uh, lockpick guy. I mean, my science is in line, but my lockpick skill is just... lacking. Okay. Let's see if there's anything... Okay. Trouble. Ah, it's... That's enough of that. Mad Brahmin. Kaboom pow. Is that what it said? Up in the corner? Anyways, um, unlocking perks as I go. Guts, another mad ramen. Ooh, animal That's control perk. Bad. Not bad. Kill mutated animals. Not bad. I am really just wasting this ammo on useless creatures. These brahmin don't actually serve any sort of a genuine threat. I'd like to check out that house over there, but I really don't want to waste time going in a direction that I shouldn't be. I don't know. Anyways, let's search the rest of the camp here and see if there's anything sitting around for me to crack into. Maybe I can get into this house. I mean, I doubt it. Most of the houses on the map around here, they're sealed up for some reason. Doesn't look like I can get into this place. All right then. A prickly pear fruit. I still can't remember if this is used in uh, any of the crafting recipes that I'm really interested in. Prickly pear. So if you can't tell, I am headed out to Boomer territory. Um, getting really close to the hot spot, which is uh, boom boom time, as it were. Anyways, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I am I'm don't have anything to talk about today. I'm a little bit void of mind at the current moment. Empty bottles. Rip off. Let's check inside a field shack really fast here. Is there anything in here? There's another star cap. I, I have more than enough star caps now, I know, for certain. Um, I know that I cut out all of my work with um, the Pip-Boy 
whenever I open up the menus because, let's face it, inventory uh, management is just something that's, in general, not all that fascinating. Um, but in the process of doing inventory management, I have checked my uh, star caps, and I have enough now to uh, make my way out to the bottling company. And I have the perfect reason to go there at some point now, too, because um, I have a quest that leads me there. An explicit quest for the Crimson Caravan. Um, which actually ties into the fact that I haven't gone there yet. I didn't, I don't want to have to revisit one location more than once because, you know, oh, you know, I have to revisit again, and it, like, it's not a quest hub, it's a place that you go to to complete a quest, so... This place didn't really have much of anything for loot. Well, let's just keep on moving. I don't remember what the name of this guy is up here. I'm about to find out. Dodging the bombs was always a problem for me. Whoa there, pal. You better slow down, or you'll get blown up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in Boomer territory. Now that I've got your attention, might you be interested in a little information? It'll cost you, but it's well worth the investment. Oh, I'm interested, all right. So you can tell me. Or, you can tell the underside of my boot. Whoa, simmer down. I'll tell you, I'm a gambler and a scavenger. I've made some cash from gambling, and some cash from reclaiming goods that are no longer being used. Now, do you want my help or not? Okay, so I can get blown up past this point. Is there any way to get through? There is a way, and I'll tell you. For a little wager. A wager? Alright, let's hear it. Well, I know the secret to get past. If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. If you make it back alive, I'll double your money. You're looking for 300 caps. I'm a bit short right now. How about 200? All right, I suppose I can cut you a deal, but not a cap lower. I gotta make a living here. Okay, here you go. That page has the details, but it's all in the timing as you move from building to building. I'll be here watching, so I'll know if you've made it to the gate or not. Remember, I'll pay double your wager if you make it back. Yeah. Well, uh, Veronica cannot come along for this one, so, V, you need to wait Could here. You brought something to read. I don't know that you want to be reading whenever I'm running into a freaking no man's land. All right, now. The difficult route is the route that was immediately behind George back there. This is the easy route. One straight shot, pretty simple, pretty safe. The only catch is you have to be able to withstand the hits from the bombardment, because at least one shell is going to make a direct hit. The rest will be far enough away for me not to die. The catch is just bringing up my pit boy and taking out on a whole lot of healing at the right moment. There's the first shell. Oh, there's one. There's two. Oh, direct hit. Keep going, hopefully that'll do the job. My survival still is working. I'm healing up pretty damn fast. Alright. I get a little bit of a reverie here. Um, right up here in this tunnel, I'm pretty sure this is one of the ways that you can get into the boomer base, but I can't get in this way because it's a very hard lock. And again... Right there. Fix my uh, cripples. Uh, like I was saying, again... Really crap lockpick skill. So... I don't think that any other shells are going to get even close enough to hit me, even though they keep shelling me. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, getting a little bit close there. Anything? Oh boy. The tension is so high. I don't want to have to die. I haven't died in... Have I died? I don't- I actually don't think I've had to die and reload this- in this game sit play. Oh my god. Well, now the tension is really on, but I think... Yep, there it is. The gate. I'm way too close to be a threat, uh, to be in danger now. Okay, so this gate is locked, but now that I'm so close to the fence, they will not even imagine uh, trying to fight me, or, uh, shell me, this close to the base. So, the boomers will leave me alone. Uh, as far as their explosive armament goes, anyway. Um, I had to just make my way back around to the gate and talk to... Smarmy Guard, who's... 
really full of himself. Hold it right there. Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? Who's in charge here? I'm not telling you a thing, Savage. Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. <laughs> Do you really think I'm scared of a punk like you? Watch your mouth, Savage. Raquel will be here any second. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. Good. I want to speak to the leader. Lead the way. Follow close, and mind your behavior. Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. You've been waiting for a visitor? You didn't exactly roll out the red carpet. How exactly do you expect anybody to get in? Those howitzers of ours aren't just for entertainment, child. Explosive ordnance is what keeps the savages at a distance. Except you. There's something special about you, child. Hello. And it was the howitzers that gave you a chance to show it. Alright, you clearly want something. I wouldn't be standing here talking to you otherwise. How can I help out? Oh, so many ways. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sev... Uh, outsider around and about. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. And how are we supposed to trust each other whenever you're keeping secrets from me? You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion has kept us safe. But the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance. Patrolling robots, soldiers. My youngers think our guns can keep out the world. But I think we need to let it in, just a little, or become its victim. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. Alright. This is a big place. Where should I start? You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Or you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Come and go as you like, help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. Round and round the mulberry bush. God, Nellis is so freaking big. It's spread out. There's a lot of stuff for me to do here, but um, before I actually, you know, run around in circles and, you know, gain the boomers' respect, etc., um, I, I need to run back here and talk to... Veronica. That and something, that and the fact that there's something out in the uh, no man's land that I need to uh, look into. Uh, but uh, I'll, I'll get to that in good time. I also need to collect on that debt. The uh, the guy up at the uh, the blocking the road, the warning signs. He obviously has been making lots of money off of idiots walking into boomer territory and getting themselves blown up. And the only reason why he's willing to make bets with people is because he knows that they're not going to come back. I mean, given that no one's ever come back. Um, and you know that is the case. I mean, just look at this place. Jesus. But, he's in for a bit of a surprise. First, only guy, the courier, to come back and demand the money. He, he's not going to be eaten tonight. Actually, I hope he didn't spend all of the money already. Wouldn't that be crap? If, uh, if the George fella up here, he spent the money because he doesn't expect anyone to return. Must be living high off the hog. That in 200, 300 caps. Anyways, George. Jumping Jesus on a pogo stick. You're the first one to make it through alive, let alone manage a return trip. Yeah, well, I like winning bets. I believe you said you would double my money. Yep. Here are your caps. Hold on. Don't try to shortchange me. It was 400 caps. Sorry about that. Poor memory. Here you go. <laughs> Damn straight. All right, Veronica. Follow me again? Aw, just when the standing around was getting exciting. Bet it was Veronica standing there and watching me get shelled. <laughs> One sadistic. Your sense of humor is wrong, Veronica. 
anyway, let's uh, let's head back to Nellis Air Force Base now, and we'll clean up some quests, get some stuff done. Uh, I mean, there's so much to do out here. 